Hello, Christian friends. I want to bring you greetings from the Joseph Bates home. I don't know if you know who Joseph Bates is, but Joseph Bates is one of the founders of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And this week, I am at Joseph Bates's home here in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. We're spending some time doing some work with the LNG White Estate. Uh, but it's been wonderful to recapture and reclaim the power of this man's story. Joseph Bates is the one who wrote some of the early tracks on the Sabbath. He is responsible for us helping to discover the Sabbath truth as Seventh-day Adventists in our pioneer days. So Joseph Bates is very special. He was a sea captain right down the street from here is the waterfront. And it has been wonderful just to be here and to spend some time thinking about his contribution to Seventh-day Adventism. But more than that, I'm also here to talk to you today as we begin a brand new week in our study of the book of Psalms. This is week number three, week number three. And if you have been with us, you know it's been a rich and powerful experience. This week, the title of our study is The Lord Reigns. The Lord Reigns. This is a major theme in the book of Psalms. God as sovereign, God as majestic, God as powerful. This God in Sabbath's lesson calls out a people. He calls Israel. He makes a covenant with them. He shields them. He protects them. He works with them even when they have messed up. We'll learn about that a few days down, this covenant covenant keeping God. This God is the God who founds the world and establishes the world on righteousness and justice. Now, it may not look like that some days. Right now, there are wars and rumors of wars happening all around the globe, and it doesn't seem like God is in control of anything some days, but God is sovereign. God is still in charge. And if God looked away, if he turned his eyes away, if he averted his gaze from humanity, we would not even be here. So I came to tell you this week, our God is sovereign. We're going to study about him, that he reigns. We're going to study about his covenant relationship, that his testimonies are sure. We're going to study about the God who is in charge of everything. I pray that you walk this journey with us today. Today begins our journey with the Lord who reigns.